Better weather means more inspiration for artists in Boston. For me, it's the it's this contrast between this vivid blue sky, the uh, the lovely red brick, and the verdigris of the, um, the weathered copper. I mean, um, most people don't look up, walk around the city, and that's what I'm particularly interested in. It's beautiful architecture. I always look forward to this every year. I always hope the weather is like it is today. Over 60 artists set up their easels outdoors, all as a part of the Copy Society of Arts Fresh Paint Day, an event in its 25th year. The society itself is the oldest nonprofit art association in America, dating back to 1879. And on Fresh Paint Day every year, painters scour the city for Boston's most inspiring landmarks. I always like to be down in the public gardens or in this area because I never get a chance to paint down here. And I've been to a bunch of other spots, so I just sort of come down in March and walk around with the camera and try and figure out a, a nice a place that'll look good once the leaves come out and the flowers come out. But it's not just the painting themselves that artists look forward to. So it's really a social thing, too. A lot of painting is kind of a solo experience, but not the way this is done. Some people, like, uh, walk fresh paint every year and make a point of actually following the route and looking, uh, looking at the artists and other people just are in the neighborhood. I've had tourists stop by, I've had um, other locals who just stop by to say hello and see what I'm doing. I bet I talked to uh, 300 people in one day and every time I do this I meet everybody in the neighborhood, I meet all the dog walkers, all the joggers. Artists were all across Boston from the North End to Beacon Hill to Fenway but most of the painters found their muse right on Com Ave or in the Commons. Diane Panarelli chose to paint in the heart of Copley Square. Her main message to those who passed by? Artists inspire people and that's what my hope was today is to come out and inspire and show beauty and color and life and the good things in life instead of all the other things that we've been concentrating on lately. All of the painters had about eight hours to observe their subject and create their masterpieces. Each will be sold to fund scholarships and outreach programs that promote the arts to Boston school children. After a long day of painting, the artists returned here to the Copley Society of Art, where their paintings will be displayed until next week when they'll be auctioned off. For BUTV 10, I'm Tiana Bonner.